If you've got nothing to do, well, I've got a couple of tricks for you. So take a look at these bits, because it's five hacks for kids. I'm Jillian, and today's episode is Indoor Gardening Hacks. It may be cold outside, but at least I can hack my snack to bring the outdoors indoors. When you finish your strawberries, don't throw the container away. You can easily hack it into an easy greenhouse. For this, you'll need paper towels, a trowel, a Ziploc bag, water, a strawberry container, sunflower seeds, and some dirt. You can totally use the sunflower seeds you buy to eat as long as they're natural and not roasted. Get two paper towels and dampen them. Now that it's damp, open it up. Spread some sunflower seeds over one half of the towel. Now fold the other half on top. Now place inside the Ziploc bag. Now close the bag, leaving one inch open at the end. Set it in a sunny window, and in a couple of days you will see the sprouts. This is what they look like after a couple of days. See the little sprouts coming out? Now fill your strawberry container half full with dirt. Now plant the sprouts in the dirt an inch apart. Now lightly water it just so it's damp. Now close it up and put it back near the window. Keep watering them after every couple of days, but this is what they look like after 10 days. Once they grow too big for the greenhouse, like this, transfer them into regular pots or outside if it's warm enough. Mom says don't waste food, but check out what I found in the trash. This was a scrap from last night's dinner, and this corn was a fall decoration that we don't need anymore. She is literally throwing food away, but not anymore with my Grow Your Own Grow Hack. For this you'll need the bottom of a bunch of celery, this is the part that you cut off when you're cooking, a cob of decorative corn, a glass dish, and some water. And newsflash, this decorative corn is actually just corn. I'm going to place them both in this shallow dish and give them about an inch of water. Now you set it in the window. Now this is only two days later. The celery is already starting to sprout, but the corn takes a little longer. See the little leaves coming up from the middle? Change the water every other day. This is after 10 days. At this point, the celery is big enough to go into its own pot. A never-ending supply of celery. Now, if I can just learn how to grow peanut butter. To plant the corn, peel off a kernel and plant it in soil. Yep, that's right. Each kernel is a seed. Bonus hack. If you don't feel like growing corn, you can still eat it by making popcorn right on the cob. Just put the cob into a microwave-safe bowl. Put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half. See? Some of it even pops right on the cob. Uh, and mom was going to throw this away. <laughs> Just to enjoy some greenery indoors. And to make it fun, let's make it prehistoric with my terrifying terrarium. For this you'll need a plastic ornament from the craft store, water in a spray bottle, plastic dinosaurs, twine, moss, some air plants, sand, and rocks. Go ahead and put your rocks and sand in the bottom of your ornament. Now add the air plants so that they look like trees.
and fit your dinosaur into this new jungle. Tie a piece of twine at the top and it's ready to hang near a window. To take care of your air plants, spritz them with water twice a week or soak them in water for five minutes once every other week. And that's it! Hey there, fella! What do you call a T-Rex that eats fireworks? Dynamite! Good one, right? Oh wait, I have another one. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Because the P is silent! <laughs> I know, good one, Julian. Wow, good food, good friends, good times. Share your indoor gardening successes in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and to click here for more life hacks for kids with me, Jillian. Thank <music> you.